nutty, but not bitter. Hmm. Bold, bitter, but not in a good way. Way too weak, not a good flavor. Tastes like dirty water, in my opinion. Mm. Oh, no. No, thank you. Now I am a daily coffee drinker. It is like the reason I get out of bed in the morning. When you are out and about hiking or backpacking, you need to get a little more creative and most likely you're going to need instant coffee. Now I labeled all of these on the bottom with numbers. I also put numbers on the bottom of the coffee cups and then I switched everything around. So I have no idea which coffees are in which cups. And so I'm going to rate them one to six. After I'm done, I'm going to see which ones are which. By the way, it is almost 1 p.m. and I normally stop drinking coffee before noon because I don't want it to disturb my sleep. I am making a sacrifice for the sake of this video and drinking coffee so wish me luck hopefully I can sleep tonight. So we're gonna start with this heart cup and uh, give her a whirl. Hmm. Interesting. I feel like it's weak but strong at the same time. I mean I would definitely drink that if I were out on the trail. I don't, I'm sure I would drink any of these, but definitely not my first choice. It's kind of like bitter, but in a sour way. So I'm going to write that on the piece of paper here. Weak, but bold, not good. I would give that one like a two out of six. Not the best there. Okay, second one is this, this cup that I got in Cabo, Mexico. So let's give it a try. This one's a little bit better. It's still kind of weak. Hmm, a little disappointing. Definitely would be disappointing if I were on the trail. I would say it's weak, kind of tastes like dirty water. Hmm, I would give that one maybe a three out of six just because it's not as nasty tasting, not as bitter tasting as the first one that I tried. Onto this plain white cup here. It has a decent flavor. Maybe if I added more grounds, but I followed the instructions on all of these and they all said to only add a teaspoon, except for these ones, of course, where I just add an entire packet. Mm, I'm gonna give that one a one out of six. Okay, onto this blue cup here. Please don't disappoint me. Let's be better than the other ones. Mm, that one is better. I like the flavor, just kind of nutty. I don't know if coffee can, can coffee be nutty? Let me know. If it were a little bit stronger, it would be actually quite Quite good. That one I'm going to give a four out of six. We're getting getting a bit better here. Ah, nothing like some good old H2O. Okay, on to the second white cup. This one's got little splatters on it. I don't know, it looks like paint splattered on it. Anyway, that one's a little stronger, a little bolder. I wouldn't be too disappointed if I had that one on the trail. I'm gonna give that one a five out of six. The last one, hopefully this one is better than them all. So we'll give it a try. This interesting cup right here. Ooh, that's really bad. Really, really bad. Ooh, no. Oh, that makes me kind of sick. That gets a one out of six. Okay, I'm a little nauseous. Some of those were really, really bad. There was like one that I actually enjoyed. Okay, so let's get on to the ratings. So the one that I rated the worst out of all of them was this orange cup. So let's see if we still feel that way. Oh yeah, ooh, that's gross. Okay, so let's look at the number on the bottom. That one was number one. So we got to find number one over here. No, no. Okay, so this one was the one that I rated as the worst, which was the Folgers Classic Roast. So sorry, Folgers. I would definitely drink this if I were out in the woods and I didn't have any other option. I would definitely need to doctor that up if I had it, put some cream and sugar in there. The sad thing is I don't even have cream and sugar in my coffee on a day-to-day -day basis. I drink my coffee black because I like the coffee to speak for itself, but this would definitely need something. So the one that I rated second worst was this one in the middle, this white cup. So let's see. Mm. Yeah, definitely too weak for me. Number four, so let's find number four. Let's get this one and this one out of the way. Two, four, okay. So the second worst out of all of them was this Cafe Bustello. Yeah, I had higher hopes for this one because it sounds really fancy, maybe not so much. Again, I would definitely drink it if I were out in the woods, but not my number one choice. Okay, so let's get these out of the way. We don't have to drink those anymore. So this one would be a fourth in the line. So this one would be 
behind the one, two, and three spot. And that was this heart cup. This is the one that I described as bitter but sour and weak but bold. Oh yeah, mm -mm, not good. All right, so this one was number six. Let's find that one. Not that one, not that one. Oh, number six was this Taster's Choice by Ness Cafe. It was all right, it was a contender, all right? I would definitely drink that in the woods. So let's put these ones aside. The third best was this cup here in which I described as weak, dirty water. So this one was number five. Yeah, definitely stand by that. So this one was number five, which was just the number that coincided with the cup. And it was this great value classic roast, so sorry. But yeah, not the best. Now it's between the Starbucks Medium Roast and the Nescafe Classico. The one that I rated the second best was this white cup here. Okay, not bad. So this was number two. Let's see which one was number two. Oh, it was the Starbucks Medium Roast Coffee. So that was the second best in my opinion. Honestly, I thought this was gonna be the first. I've actually had this one before, but yeah, second best. So the first spot <laughs> goes to this blue cup. Yeah, not bad. I wish it was just a little bit stronger, but it's actually stronger than the other ones. It's not bitter, it's not sour. It's got kind of like a bold, nutty flavor. And that one goes to this Nescafe Classico, which is quite surprising. It actually beat out the Starbucks and the Folgers and all of that. Number one choice for these instant coffees out of six, pretty surprising. I'll keep that in mind for when I go backpacking and hiking this coming summer. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video. Please give this a like and subscribe if you want to. It helps get these videos out to other people who like them. But for now, I'm gonna sip this delicious cup of coffee.